Welcome. So what I'd like to do is show you how to determine the height of this uh, uh, quadrilateral, which looks like a parallelogram, um, using our special right triangle relationships. Now, this would be a very common problem when we're getting into determining the area and perimeter and so forth. We're going to be using special right triangles a lot. So it's very important to look at this and I say, all right, I have a 45 degree triangle. I know that this is perpendicular because it's 90 degrees. So if it's 90 degrees over here, then I know it's also 90 degrees on the other side, right? Um, so therefore, what I want to do, I need to determine h. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of remove my triangle away from this quadrilateral, because I don't really care about 10 or the rest of the tri triangle. I just want to be able to use this triangle to determine h. So I'm going to redraw everything just with the information I know. Well, if that's 45 degrees, that's 90, then that has to be 45 degrees. That's 6, and that's h. So now I'm looking at I say, all right, so my leg is my missing term, right? Um, so how do I go from my hypotenuse to my leg? Well, if you remember how we go from a leg to a hypotenuse of a 45 degree triangle, if I had this was 2, this is 2, to go from my leg to my hypotenuse, I have 2 times the square root of 2. So if I'm giving an angle, so to go from leg to hypotenuse, you multiply by the square root of 2. So to go from the hypotenuse to the leg, you're going to have to divide by the square root of 2. Then we don't want to write a radical in the denominator, so I'm going to rationalize the denominator. And therefore, my final answer will be 6 square root of 2 over square root of 2 times square root of 2 is 2. Those divide out, which is 3. Square root of 2 um, is your final answer over 1. You can just leave it like that. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you determine your missing height of a quadrilateral using special right triangles. Thanks.